Slum 4 Authentication Lesson 23. We are going to get the Reset Password or Forgot Password Foundation set up. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to close out of all of this stuff. We're going to go to our HTTP controllers off, and we're simply going to create a new Reset Password controller. Alright, so we have that controller set up. After that, we are also going to keep this Reset Password controller open, but we're also going to open web.php. So, in routes slash web.php, we're going to need to add four new routes. First, we need to have user confirm they want to reset their password. This is going to be route get reset password. We're going to point this to reset password and then controller at send. We're going to add a redirect if authenticated middleware. Redirect, and here, I'll just copy this down here. All right, so step one is the user is going to be able to confirm they want to resend or send themselves a reset password link via email. Um, and that's just going to be a form where they need to type in their email. After that, we need to add a persist unique reset password link into database and send email with reset password form link. Okay, so this is going to be a post route, and that is going to point to reset password controller at store, and these are all going to have the same middleware, so I'll just add them all at the end. They're all going to have redirect if authenticated middleware. After that, we need to say, okay, confirm page informing user reset password link was sent to their email. So that's going to be route get reset password and that's going to be confirm and the reset password controller at confirm. Finally, we're going to say when redirected back to our application via the clicked link we email the user we need to validate the reset key exists and show the reset form. Okay, and I'll knock this to the next line. Ooh. All right, just like that. We email the user. One, validate the reset key exists. To direct the user to the reset password form. Just like that. Okay. So once that is set up, we should be good to go there. And then the last one, we actually need five routes, my bad. Um, the last route, and we actually need to find that route. That's going to be route get reset password key. And that's going to be reset password controller. And then we want to show the reset password form. All right, and then the fifth route is going to be update password, so store or submit or post password, um, update password, post and store slash update reset password. And then we're going to say route post, and it's going to be reset password key, and then we're going to say reset password controller at update and voila. Okay, so there's one thing I want to know right here. This should probably be a put or an update HTTP verb request. I'm not going to do that because post works fine, and I don't want to add anything else because we've already gone outside the scope of authentication so much in this tutorial. I kind of want to just get the authentication thing done and uh, do the thing. So this should be a post or an update, or sorry, a put or a uh, update HTTP verb. We're just going to use post because the other two types of verbs when set up with forms, take a little bit of extra configuration. All right, so after that, we're going to copy this, and then we're just going to add the middleware, add redirect if authenticated to all of these routes. All right, good to go. So once we have that set up, we want to go and we want to add the given views, the templates for each of these. So here's what we're going to need. We're going to need to add 
reset password.blade.php. Then we're going to need to add send reset password.blade.php. And that's going to send reset password link.blade.php. And then it's going to be sent reset password link. And then that is going to be successfully. Oh, come on, PHP Storm. Sent. It's going to be sent reset password link successfully. Successfully dot blade dot PHP. All right. So within the reset password blade dot PHP, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to copy login. And while we're on login, let's change this to login. And let's actually get rid of all these headers as well. We're just going to, the button will tell us what the form does. Um, probably not the prettiest thing in the world, but if you want to add the pretty, feel free to. I'm going to kind of make this easier for the cognitive load. I'm going to simplify it. So we're going to copy the login.blade.php. And then for reset password.blade, we're going to simply post it. Now for our action, the first thing we need to do is we're going to say action is going to be reset password. I'm going to knock these to the next line and that to the next line. It's going to be reset password and then it's going to be key. All right, we'll put that back up. After that, I'm going to say type is password. And then we're going to say name is password. And we don't need an old value because this is a password. We'll say placeholder equals new password. And then keep that the same. After that, we'll say reset password. And then we'll say confirm password. So the type will be password. The name will be confirm password. Placeholder will be confirm new password. And la la, we're good to go. Okay, so now let's go and test that out and make sure that that is set up. So to do that, all we need to do is go reset password and then some random key. Whoops, invoker, not call, but okay. So the reason that is not working is because within our register controller, we do not have a show method yet. So we have reset password controller, and we do want to do public function and then show. We're going to do view, view, and then we're simply going to return view auth dot re reset password and then we are going to accept a key we're going to say compact key reload that there we go reset password okay so that is good to go after that we want to go and we want to do send reset password link so send reset password link is going to be and i'll just copy this over um, this is all in the GitHub repository, so let's go there and let's go get that, actually. So we're going to do github.com, and it's going to be zhorn34, authorized slim4. And then we are going to go to experimental. And by the time the video is up, this will be on master, but we're going to go experimental. And then we are going to go... Send password reset. And do resources. Views. Auth. We're just going to copy these. So we're going to say send a reset password link. All right, and we're just going to copy this. So again, resources views off send re password, reset password link, send reset password link. Boom, boom. What is this one for? This one is going to hit our reset password. So once the user says, hey, I want to resend my password, they have to tell us what their email is so we can email them a link to reset their password. After that, we're going to go back here. And then we're just going to say, whoop, copy this right here, sent reset password link successfully. This is just going to be a simple message that says, hey, reset password link set, sent. Go check your email, please. Um, and so those are the new blade templates. The only other thing we want to do is we want to actually go back here. We want to copy login.blade. And we want to say, okay, copy this right here and put this below our button. That's just going to give us a little 
um, little thing at the bottom of our screen that says, hey, do you want to reset your password or not? And then register, we're going to do the same thing, register.blade.php, and we're going to simply do already registered login. So this is just a little bit of cleanup, um, giving the user more context on the fact that they can register or they can reset their password. So now if we go back to register and we do a clear composer dump auto load, but before that PHP slim view clear and composer dump auto load. And then we reload our page. Already registered, log in, log in, forgot your password. There we go. Okay, so now we need to add the reset password controller. And then we need to add the send method on that controller. So we're going to do public function send. And here's how that is going to look. We're going to do send is going to return the view for auth send reset password link. All right. After that, we want to say, okay, a public function confirm view, and that's going to be return view auth dot sent reset password link successfully. And then after that, we're going to say store, and then we're going to say request input for now. And then we're going to need to get a, here, we're going to do this for now. We're going to say store reset password request input. We don't have either of these created yet. And then we're also going to want to do a mailable um, mail. And then within here, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to say uh, if input fails, redirect user back to password reset form. If input validation fails, okay. That's going to be one. If input validation fails, redirect the user. After that, we're going to want to do create a unique um, reset password key. Then we're going to want to say persist or store that unique password key to the database with a relationship with a relationship to our user. Four, we're going to want to say create the mailable or email user the reset password link. And then five, redirect the user to the reset password email sent successfully. Tell the user to check their email address. Okay. And so then we want to return that redirect. So this is what it will look up. We don't have store, re store reset password request set up or our mailable set up. This is just the reset password foundation. We'll do the rest of this in later videos. Finally, after that, let's set this up here. Nope. So whenever we email them the link, to the reset password form, they're going to be redirected to a page with a unique key. This is what the show function does. So first, they need to actually send the reset password to their own email. After that, we will redirect the user and confirm that we have successfully sent that email link to them. Once they go to their email, they will have the link that will send to them. And then that will, so once they, uh, and it's actually gonna be, this. This is going to be the order. So you send the email. Sorry, this is the form. So first we show them the form so they can give us their email. Whenever they submit that form, we hit the store method. This is going to validate the input and it's going to validate the mailable or give us access to a mailable so we can email the user with the unique uh, reset password key. Within here, we save that unique reset password key to the database, and then we email the user, and then we redirect the user to this, hey, we successfully created your unique reset password key, and 
you can go to your email and check it out. Once they go to their email, so then user opens email and they have an email from us. When they click the link in the email, they'll be redirected to the password reset form. Once they click the link from their email, they'll be redirected to this function. This will return the reset password form itself. And it will have the unique key that we can compare against the database unique key to keep things safe. Once they submit that form, the reset password form, the last thing they'll want to hit or need to hit is going to be the update reset password request input and then also the key. And then we're just going to say one, if validation failed, redirect user back to reset password form. Two, find the persisted uh, reset key within the database. Three, get the user related to that key within the database. Four, update the user with the newly reset password, with the new password. New password given all validated validations pass. Five, if successfully, successfully updated, if we did successfully update the user password, then A, delete the reset password key, and B, redirect the user back to the login page, back to login. Six, if not successfully, if we did not successfully update the user password, then A flash errors to the session and B return user back to the reset password form. All right, so that's our setup. So with that in mind, all of this is dependent on the fact that we can send emails. So this is gonna be the skeleton. This is going to be how it looks. This is a lot more setup. Um, in the next tutorial we are going to get in, we're gonna set up the mailable. We're gonna set up everything so we can actually send emails and then we're going to, in the preceding video, show how we can test emails locally. And then in the video after that, we're gonna finalize this reset password, forgot password, and unique reset keys to keep everything safe. So this was mainly a setup thing. Um, in the next three tutorials, we're going to dive in and actually implement this. So see you guys in the next one. Simple.